Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I'm going to be going over some hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy Soul 3. Let's jump right in. This is one of my favorite hidden features. It's called the Quick Launch Camera. Basically on any screen, even if the phone is off, let's say you wanted to get a picture of something, all you have to do is hit the home button twice and it will automatically turn the phone on and take you right to the camera. So really cool feature. So the phone was just off right now. And again, double tap the home button, it turns it on, takes it right to the camera, okay? I can also have the phone on, let's say I'm in YouTube, I'm doing something, something funny happens, same exact thing, home button, right to the camera, and get that picture before you miss that moment. So that's our first little hidden feature right there, it's called the quick launch camera. Our next hidden feature is gonna be uh, a cool way to uh, basically hide important things on your phone that you don't want people to have access to. It's called the secured folder. So by swiping down from the top and then pull down, swipe down one more time, um, this is the secured folder. And if you tap on that, um, there's a quick setup and then you're able to hide uh, pictures, videos, and apps and uh, notes as well. If you use a Samsung's Note app, you can also hide your notes as well. So it's a great way to keep things private if you often let other people use your phone or you know, maybe you don't keep a password on your phone. If somebody picks your phone up and you have something on there you don't want them to see, you should definitely hide it in your secured folder app. All right, our next hidden feature is gonna be um, what's called max power saving mode. So in the tips and tricks video I did on this, if you haven't seen it, definitely check that out. Um, I showed you guys how swiping down from the top, um, you do have a little battery indicator. Some of you guys uh, won't see it because you do have to swipe down further to see all your switches. But basically, um, there's a little battery icon and it says power saving mode, but if you take your finger and hold down on it, there's another level of power saving. It's called max power saving. So if I go to max, um, this is a very aggressive way to stretch your battery. So I'm gonna hit apply. I'm gonna turn it on really quickly here. And so basically, let's say your phone is on 10% and the battery is dying and you don't have access to a charger and you need your phone to stay on at any cost. This is a time where you wanna turn on the max power saving mode because even at 10%, it will get you a few more hours with your phone. Um, and if your battery is, is higher than 10%, then you're gonna be even in better shape. So this setting is very stripped down. Um, the wallpaper is turned off. You only have access to some of your basic apps, phone, messages, internet settings, but we can add a few more. So I can tap here and I can add more apps so I can still um, have my clock, my timer, my alarm. I can still check my email. Um, you can also have a calculator, your Google Maps, uh, and even your camera as well. Um, so you do have access to uh, these specific apps, uh, but not every single app. So like if you have a game on your phone, you may not be able to play that in the max power saving mode, but all the essential things you would need, you will have access to in this section. And again, it's gonna make your battery stretch to last a lot longer. When you're finished, you wanna get out of this setting, upper right corner, click on the three dots, and just tap turn off max power saving mode. So this is just a great thing to know about and definitely utilize if you're in a situation where you really need to make sure your battery lasts you a long time. We'll let that go ahead and turn back on. Our next hidden feature is a really cool one. And a lot of people just don't know you can do it. It's available on a lot of different Android phones. Um, basically, in the YouTube app, let's say that I'm playing a video. I'm gonna open up YouTube and find a video to play. I should probably just play one of my videos because why not, right? So let's go ahead and go to one of our latest videos here. And we'll turn this on. Let's make sure the volume is down. So you're playing a video and maybe you're um, texting someone or you're also doing some other things on your phone. Once the video is playing, if you hit the home button, it will put the video in a pop-up video mode, which will allow you to move this anywhere on the screen. 
So you can go left, right, corner, bottom left corner, bottom right corner. And it will still allow you to do other things on your phone. So I can, for example, go to the Play Store if I'm looking for an app. And my video is still there, I can still hear it. Um, I could go home, I could also go to my maps. Maybe you're um, looking up directions, you can have your GPS open, music, or not music, because you can't have music and video at the same time. But basically this will allow you to still watch your YouTube video and do other things. So it's a really cool way to kind of take advantage of the, the dual processor on the phone. And when you're finished, you can tap it, you can pause the video, you can go back to full screen this way, or I can simply just um, pause the video and then go home and then the video, oh, it does do it, excuse me. Hit the X in the corner there and that'll close the video out altogether. So it's a cool way to multitask on your phone. Our last hidden feature is gonna be the Samsung themes, which a lot of people just, if you don't know it's there, you're not even gonna be aware of what you can do with it. Basically on your home screen, hold down on the screen and then um, go to themes. Now what's really cool is Samsung has a whole theme store that's built into their phone. So you have access to custom wallpapers, custom themes. So obviously a wallpaper is just the screen that's like behind like your home screen and as well as your lock screen. Um, but if you do a theme, it changes more than just the, the wallpaper. It changes everything. Your app icons, the background of your messaging app, the background of your call app, your notification, it changes all the colors. So um, the themes are, um, sorry, you have to accept the terms and conditions to see everything. But basically in the theme store, like you, you can make some pretty drastic changes to your phone just to make it unique and customize it. That's the cool part about it. So you're able to, oh, we've got an update it looks like. So you're basically able to, you know, really customize your phone with an you know, awesome wallpaper, a full theme, or you can just change the icons of your apps as well. So this is one of the things I love about Samsung phones because it really allows you to just make it unique to you. Sometimes everyone in the house gets the same phone and it's really hard to tell whose phone is which. So this is a cool way to just make the phone again unique to you, your favorite color, your favorite sports team, whatever you like, you can apply it in here. So this is just a couple of the themes that are available. And then uh, in the icon section, you have all kind of icons to choose from in here. Now the last thing I wanna show you in here is don't feel pressured to have to buy one of the themes. Like if you see one that's paid, go for it. Like if you want to pay for it, but you can sort it by paid and free. So if I tap on, for example, new, I can then tap on all and I can switch to free and then it'll show me all the free uh, ones first before it shows me the paid ones. I'm a little cheap, so I'm always trying to find a way to uh, just get around paying money. So this is my little way of doing that. And let's say I want to pick this theme here. I tap on it. I'm going to hit download. Um, it will ask you to create a Samsung account, um, which is free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, so let me go ahead and just sign in my account really quick.